Hello, it is time again to learn at play. My name is Amina Muhammad Jabi. I am one of your presenters today. It means to present today's program is Zainab Abdullahi. We promise you a great show. First, let's take a break. My name is OZB, aka OZ Bosco Wonder Kid, the best kid entertainer in Africa. Watch our world every week on the station. Today, we are going to be talking on the serious decline of moral in our society, without which, trust me, the society will remain static to growth and development. My name is Aisha Kambongsa. As the first presenter has said on this topic, moral decays in our society. We have with us to enlighten us, or do I say, Remind us on the causes and possible solutions of moral decays in our society today. Mr. Muhammad Nuradi, please, what have you got to say? Generally, morality originates from religious contributes. Religion is so pervasive, as well as our Nigerian culture, that the two cannot be separated. What constitutes moral code of any Nigerian society are laws, taboos, customs, and set forms of behavior, which all derive their compelling powers from our respective religions. While performing religious activities, Parents must involve the children. It generates faith and trust towards God as well as uphold the impotence in the minds of the children as they grow. We have heard from Mr. Muhammad Nuradi. Please, can we share more light on this topic and then discuss Mr. Jafar Ladan? Once again, my name is Jafar Muhammad Ladan. Yes, I should. Sad as it may be, today that is not the case. Generally, there's ignorance and lack of respect for both religions by the breeders of the next generation, the parents. In those days, parent frowns at a child who does not respect his belief, either Christianity or Islam. They practice the belief with conviction, not as a show of, they also respected and practice cultural beliefs. Today, parents encourage their children to wear short mini dresses at the ages of two, three, or four. This is sad. What major religions of our country today frowns at this? What do you mean by show off, Mr. Rafa Lada? Show off because they want people to perceive them as religious. Wow! No society can survive without religion. Honestly, that is really unfortunate. Let us hear from Mr. Nazif. Thank you. You know, but same education, as good as it is, has some negative influence on our culture. As our culture promotes good moral values, the Western education tries to develop such values by making children do certain behaviors which is in contrast with the Nigerian culture. Yes. I think that was one of the points made by Master Jaffer earlier. Decent dresses should be revisited by parents at early stages of their children's growth. Back to you, please, Mr. Mama Nuradin. What do you have to add to all that I've been said? Yes, let's look at the unit of purpose. What do I mean here? More and more people are self-centered individuals rather than community-minded and are not prepared to share the pleasure of bringing up children. Today, the community is failing daily because it lacks respect and care for one another. The sense of concern of individual in the community we had, which cares for its children, is no more. That sense of, you can't tell me what to do floats. Generally, there is lack of respect for one another. This is getting interesting. Can we please hear from you, Ms. Hadrasad? It's my pleasure to be here. Yes, in all words, lack of parental care seems to be the utmost. Proper moral development in children will be achieved by providing the children with the opportunity of helping those who are in need. This will instill in them the attitude of compassion and generosity for fellow human beings. Parents are also responsible for inculcating other moral values. Unfortunately, Several parents have failed on this obligation. One of the major causes of moral decadence among the children is parental laxity and lack of attention. This results in the accumulation of bad habits and attitudes, which they learn from households, television, and other sources. We have heard from Ms. Hadrasa. Please can we shed more light on this topic, Mr. Nazif? Thank you. The new habits developed by children as they grow contribute in shaping their personalities, values, and beliefs. 
which as a result, the child could become aggressive as he loses sense of differentiating realities and fictions. Similarly, parents have destroyed their children's futures by refraining from instilling proper discipline in them. They call it love for their children. Some parents even go to the extent of fighting those who try to correct their children. And there is no way such a child will not have moral problems. Interesting. Please, Mr. Jero, could you shed more light on this topic? One factor that contributes to decay in moral is moral laxity. By moral laxity, we mean the quality of not being strict, severe, or careful enough about work, rules, or standards of behavior. Parents are the key to good schooling. If parents do not teach respect and good manners at home, all the school does will be for nothing. That's lovely. Let me ask Mr. Wally then. You know, how does the school contribute more laxity among students than more? <laughs> Let's examine this from two extremes. If a student comes from a low social economic home, then the student will often, often want to be at school because it provides less moral laxity than where they live. Because people around him only care about their safety and well being. Secondly, if a student comes from a high social economic home, then the student may perceive some sort of moral laxity since the school exposes the student to different ideas and perspectives. Just to add up to what the last speaker has said, children from a broken home tend to face depression and anger. Ongoing parental conflict has a substantial impact on children's long-term outcomes. Most of the children do not have the emotional capacity to digest and deal with the separation. This leaves them broken and bitter. When children are secured, they try because they feel safe enough to explore, develop, learn and grow. Separation creates insecurity and distracts their development and exploration of the world. Wow! I'm short of words. There is a great task for our parents. And if truly they love us, they should visit our religious and cultural values with a view to rejuvenating a standard moral in us all. Thank you for your contributions. Our work continues shortly. Stick with us. My name is uh, Engineer Suleiman Adam. I'm the Minister of the Federal Ministry of Water Resources. I fully endorse this program. I've enjoyed interacting with the children. I think it's good. It's uh, for motivation and inspiration of the young ones uh, who are aspiring to be future leaders. And I would also like to send a message which I've already sent to these children. Nigeria needs to be open to vacation free by 2025. The program is designed to focus on the activities of children. Do the right thing. After all, you're the adult. Everywhere in the market, you see toothpaste for a ride. Even my mom buys to trade for her. How friendly is it to other parts of our body? Wow, I am short of words. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from the discourse today. Now sit back and relax while you enjoy this short drama. Bang job, you didn't kill you. Where's this brother? Ashafa? Ashafa? Yes, My son, how are you doing? Fine. Have you finished your homework? Yes, ma'am. Let me see.
Madam, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. How is work? Fine. Um, your son is a very good child. He's a blessed child. You have done a good job in him. Keep it up. Thank you so much. I have some other matters to talk to you about, but I'll come back another day since you're tired. Okay. I should, I should, I'll be taking my Bring me water, please. Which one more taking? What is the problem of this young school? Do they want to kill you? Ah, you stupid assignment. I better keep that something and go and watch something.
I don't want to agree to that. Please please come down. Madam, please come down. I'm not coming down. Madam, please come down. Madam, please come down. You guys are trying me. Madam, please come down. Go and call that teacher. Yes, ma'am. You see the teacher. Please what have your seat. What nonsense is this? Ma'am, have your seat. Have your seat. Madam, what happened? How will I know? We are in a school. You don't even know what is happening. Mama, what happened, please? The teacher has slammed me a bit now. What is the name of the teacher? Mr. Ahmed. Please, I need Mr. Ahmed in my office. And to my son. I said and to my no, son. I In fact, why am I doing this thing? The next time you raise down your stupid dirty hands on my son again, you revert your life as a teacher. Did you hear me? Who are you? I'm very stupid. My son, let's go. Why I'm, I'm, I'm even removing you from this example. Mr. Ahmed, please come down. My neighbors, please teach your children good morals. It's not every time that you be with them. It's what you instill in them that they will grow up with. Mommy and Ma, please teach your child to learn to respect and greet elders wherever he sees them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Madam, Madam, let me start. Don't talk about my son. I don't like it. Is it because you are married? Is it because you don't have one? Why are you saying that she's just advising us? Eh eh, sabi sabi. Nonsense. Welcome to the 10th speech and prize giving day of the Pride University, Abuja. It is now time to present our award to the graduating students. Parents, today is your day to rejoice as you present your prize. Please, when I call on you, come out for your certificates. I would like to call on Professor Hajara Saad to present the awards. <laughs> Ablakim Sanusi, please come forward to receive your certificates. Student of the Pride International School. Let's give it to Ashafa Suleiman. Please, can we have Amar Gambumusa to receive his certificate of attendance? What? Attendance? What rubbish? What do you mean attendance? Congratulations. We are security. You are under arrest. What did I do? Different colors, same people, different people, same skin, different people, same air. My son in jail, my handwork. Struggled so much, yet bleeds. Pampered so much, yet rips. The irony is, the rich cries. I cry, and Mimi laughs. I have wealth. She is a papa. I am rich. Mimi is richer. All boils down to one fact. Foolish ordinary people. Beep. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be alright. We will try our best to bring him out of prison. Thank you.
Particularly happy to know that there are programs uh, caught off to focus on children and well-being of the society. Uh, really, I am encouraged that it's not just one of those programs that is tied to politics or reporting only negative uh, news, but focus on children. So I want to congratulate our ward for this great job, and please continue with it. I'm impressed about this uh, award, very commendable, and I, I wish uh, this program can be cascaded more so that more children can uh, pass this, so that uh, the education can be Parents, I hope you've learned one or two things from the drama. Please nurture us right. I hope you enjoyed being on our world. It is time to say goodbye. Thanks for being part of our world. Bye for now.